we initially looked at the errors inherent in paper charts and we've recently performed a second audit of electronic charts. What we've done is compare the two and looked at this in the same categories what degree of error reduction could we or have we achieved. I think it's true that almost universally there's been a reduction in all areas uh, in, in uh, the level of error. Some of the errors are immediately reduced to zero and have stayed at that. For example, errors of illegibility are now gone for good. Errors associated with incorrect use of abbreviations, micrograms being able to be confused with milligrams, for example, those errors are now completely gone forever. Errors associated with transcription are a la harder to, of course, to measure, but they, they're no longer present. We've known for some time that there is at least a 7% transcription error every time you rechart a paper chart. We now know, don't rechart paper charts, so that error has gone to zero. Transcription to discharge prescriptions is now automatic, and so there's no errors associated with that. There's also a massive time saving in doing that. Errors associated with transcribing to discharge summaries are now reduced to zero. Some errors have been reduced very substantially, but those are ones that haven't been reduced to zero because there's currently a manual process involved, such as the need to place into the system, for example, uh, an allergy where it's known. The difference, I guess, is that when you place something into a system, it's there for good. So when someone is readmitted, you can be very sure that they will have that already there at the beginning of the admission, at the beginning of the prescribing process, when with the paper-based system it was, of course, associated with you were presented with a blank chart. So errors have been very substantially reduced. The next thing we need to do, though, is actually not demonstrate reduction in errors but better document the real benefits, the benefits in terms of workflow, the benefits in terms of time saving, and eventually the benefits in cost savings. It's very difficult to assess the cost of an error. The real cost is in the harm to the patient and the harm to the whole community, and we can't measure that. But there are papers looking at the cost of, the physical cost of an error, and that can range anywhere between ten and a half thousand to two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. We're reducing errors substantially and we're going to expect that the hospital is going to, over time, recoup the cost of rolling this out. It is very difficult to get clinicians to use IT systems. Some physicians are not in favour of using computers at any time. Sometimes though they can actually see this as a significant benefit and some of the de previous detractors have said, well look at this, I can actually now review my medicine chart from home when I'm on acute call. I can prescribe from home when something is, is uh, clearly not to my liking. They can review the need that what the house surgeon has done during the day from their desk without having to walk around and look at charts. They've also been able to cease medications that should have been ceased, antibiotics particularly, much more simply from wherever they are. So they have seen benefits and uptake is improving over time. There's a group of, of relatively junior consultants who took to this like a duck to water and they have absolutely no intention of ever going back. There's a, a group of junior doctors particularly, they're the, the fastest to take this up, who get quite annoyed when they have to move off the ward where it's not being used and have to do very, very slow discharge summaries with transcription errors and on some occasions we've been phoned from the emergency department thinking that this was a support call by a junior doctor who says, I've just prescribed 30 medications and it took me about two minutes and this is fantastic. So we're getting lots of bouquets from that. We've also had a number of registrars who have been going into research and saying, well, can I potentially use all this medication listings to, to do a search and say, well, how many people are using this version of atorvastatin? Or how many people are 
coming in with a certain medical condition and being discharged with the correct medications? And the answer is now, yes, we can work this out for you, and yes, we can support this, something which would take them weeks of work beforehand. So yes, it's, it's a slow process, and it's not going to be something that has universal acceptance overnight. But you've got to sustain the vision of what you're trying to achieve and continue to try and support the junior doctors, the senior doctors, with what they can and can't do. But it is going to be very important to make sure that it is the system that almost everyone uses, otherwise moving in and out of a paper and electronic system is annoying and I think it's going to detract from the overall benefit as well.